Almost got it right today. Didn't feel exactly right. I'm Becky Bullout here from Newport News, Virginia. I am a creative memories advisor and I like sharing tips on Tuesday. I also have a blog and I'm getting ready to put some blogs out. <laughs> so if you follow me on my blog and like, she doesn't blog, sometimes I get really busy and <laughs> I can't blog. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm excited to, to share some ideas that I have coming up. So um, if you don't follow me already, um, check it out at www.scrapbookwithbecky.com. Um, if you haven't checked it out before, um, you'll see a lot of uh, cool um, things on there. Um, even now, um, even though I haven't put one out recently. Okay, so um, just reminders. I feel like every week I'm telling you that new products are coming out. Sometimes we don't even know. Uh, I buy new products on Monday in Oh, they were amazing. So if you haven't been on there lately, um, they came out with a really cool storage thing for your border maker cartridges. We already kind of had one, um, but this one is way better um, because it has compartments for each little border maker cartridge so that you can see them perfectly. Um, and it will also hold your, um, your this guy. And it will also hold the housing unit as well. If you don't want it to do that, then you can house up to eight more border maker cartridges. The beauty about that new um, bag is if you are a creative memories lover, we stuff our bags, don't we? And they're really bad for our backs and they're really bad for the actual bags because they're not designed to be overpacked and stuffed and stretched. Um, so this is keeping the weight correct to extend the life of your bag, but it's also to extend the life of your cartridges. When you um, jam them all in and then you slug these heavy things around because you got to, because they're they're heavy for girls to lift with their upper body strength, um, it, it hurts the casings on these as well. So it's a way to extend the life of things that we love, our bags and our cartridges. So I highly recommend them. Um, if you already have some bags that you have not abused that are still very good shape and you don't need the new polka dotted um, bag, um, you can convert the ones that you have by using just the inserts. So go check under what's new. Um, those inserts fit in your old bags too. For just 20 bucks, you can get both trays that fit inside. So I think you're going to be really excited about those. Also, and I don't, I think it may be a limited edition item, are these um, pens. They're exclusive dual tip and dot pens in colors that we've never had before. And a little rap de doo -da to put your pins in. Um, so anyways, I thought that you would love that one. That's uh, $45 for the whole set um, of like six, 12, I think it's 12 pins. And if that's something, um, you know, like let's say to you, the free little wrap is not something that motivates you because you're storing them somewhere else. That little guy is really cool for anybody that has a pen problem. And um, you can share that as a gift with a fellow um, friend, a fellow uh, scrapbooker, or a student um, who who um, loves art arches. But I think it's super cool, and I think that you're going to love it. So I hope that you'll check it out. All right. That's all I'm going to say, because I have a demo to do, and I am on a time restraint today. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, what um, these new product releases do, it makes our incomes very stable. Um, if you have just a few customers, and they're coming out with releases constantly, it is really helping our paychecks be um, consistent. Um, this is an amazing career. Um, it is, you know, clearly I am doing this from my home. I'm getting ready to go get a haircut. Um, <laughs> um, and I have volunteer jobs, but yet I still have a full-time income with creative memories. So I really, um, if you love scrapbooking, if you have a friend group that scrapbooks with you, well, consider reaching out to me or to whoever your advisor is and ask about creative memories as a business. It is fun, it is rewarding, and I couldn't recommend anything more. All right, so let's go on. I can't wait to show you a few things today. Let's change my screen. I need to change it. There we go. All right, so um, the first thing I wanted to show you is the new Fast to Fab album. This came out with our wedding line. It's a beautiful foiled cover hearts on it. Um, does it have to be wedding? No. 
Um, it could be anything, it could be a family album. I think it would be beautiful for a baby album, wouldn't it? All right. It comes, of course, with the page protectors if you get the Fast to Fab pages. So I wanted to show you the Fast to Fab pages to see how pretty this would be um, for so many other things. Um, so this is blues. This is grays and blues. Do you see how, though, it says that it's wedding, that it could be just anything? Is this just stunning? I feel like my light's not all that good because the colors are not showing up quite as vivid. So I would like to see if I can feel that. Isn't it nice? All right, so that's what something blue looks like. It's blues. Um, so don't, don't feel like it has to be a wedding or an anniversary. It really could be a boy, um, boy album or a girl that loves blues, um, of course. Um, again, I'm, I think it screams baby boy. Such a pretty set of colors, okay? So I wanted to make you know how pretty that was. So this is the Something Blue album cover which you can get from $37.50, or if you want the pages inside, it's only $59.50. So you always save if you buy the album and the FESTA at the same time. All right. Um, also, this line ha had um, two paper packs. This is not it. I'm getting ready to show you something with that. Um, that paper, it's got mats. I'm going to pull those because they're um, accessible to me easier. Um, the mats, again, um, a lot of these are really neutrally that you could use for anything. Um, if it does have something that's exclusive to weddings slash anniversaries, this actually could use for baby with a love one there. Um, they usually have it so that you can cut out and make a mat out of it um, and use that, you know, save that for another time. So, um, you know, again, even here, do you see how it's centered? You literally can cut a quarter inch off. You'll have a perfect mat for a photo and you can save going to the chapel or something else. So, so don't discount this mat pack. It's going to be fantastic. You know, lots of neutral things um, on there as well. All right. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, the paper also very, very neutral. Um, it comes in a regular um, designer pack and also comes in um, vellum. The vellum pack is only $5. I always have people say, I don't know how to use vellum. You guys, vellum is paper. <laughs> use it like you would use paper. Um, it's a, It's got a little bonus in that it's see-through so that you can put it on top of prints and the prints show through, which makes it really nice. But it is paper and it can be used as a standalone. But you can see how when I stack it on here, which is Adventure Parks, this is not um, this line, you see how vellum can go on anything that you want to, you can still see those patterns through it. So, um, these are vellums. I've used some of, this is not, this is your regular papers. And I have used some of them. We've got some prints. But do you see that there was no bride coming down the aisle? Um, these can be used for anything, but this, this does say love, 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 love on the back. But again, um, doesn't have to be a wedding or an anniversary, right? Um, and then the other side does not say love, 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 love. All right, so I wanted to point that out. What is very wedding-y slash anniversary-ish, lovey-dovey, honeymoon-ish is the sticker packs. Um, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. Um, showers, this would work for a baby boy shower for sure. Um, these pretty, the, the borders you could use for almost anything, but this definitely is skewed towards wedding, which is going to make these papers that are not skewed towards wedding, they're skewed towards blues, pop, all right, and then of course the embellishments, um, there's a little bit of both, there's a lot of greenery in here, but there's also a lot of lovey-dovey, so this is also going to make your wedding album a wedding album, okay, so you definitely are going to want the, um, the stickers and the embellishments and the mats um, that go along with this line if you are going to do a wedding album. But if you're not, I would add the papers to your uh, collection um, because they are super stinking gorgeous. All right, so let's see Lorna Tip. So today what I wanted to do, if you get the bundle right now, it's 1% off, I think. Um, think until Friday at one o'clock. Um, 
And with that bundle, you'll get all of the things that I talked about. Ooh, ooh, I left out one pack of embellishments, which were actually amazing. Oh, actually, also in the regular embellishments, we get these epoxied ones. Um, but the other ones I wanted to show you, which I didn't. And I don't know where they are. Oh, I do, I do know where they are. I hid them so that I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> oh, that's so smart of me, right? Um, let me see if I can find them now. They are over here. Okay, so these I love. And I think um, these are going to be perfect for so many different things. And I'm going to hold these up to the screen a little bit. Because these are embroidered. I mean, they. I'm not just saying that they look embroidered. They are embroidered. They're stitched. Can you see that? They're actually stitched. All right. They also already have the adhesive attached to them. Um, kind of like a patch that you put on your jeans. Um, I love these. Um, so anyways, you may want to. These are only like five bucks. So you may want to add this for your spring pages or whatever. Um, doesn't have to be wedding, right? All right, so I'm going to put those back because I might put them on the page that I make for you today. All right, so let's um, get this stuff out of our way. And make a page. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to grab that piece of paper that I had to, to teach this technique. You're going to want to grab your border maker cartridge that comes with this line. It's it's the um it's called scallop heart. Wow, she knew the name. <laughs> yeah, I really did. I knew the name of that one. It totally makes sense. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna. Oh, we're not doing the game. So I'm gonna fold this piece of paper on a diagonal. All right, so we've got the real long edge, my Mathies, that's your hypotenuse, your long side. We're gonna cut both of the legs or the um, the perpendicular sides. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna slide this in so that it fits the tray perfectly. I'm gonna start with the corner end, not this one. Doesn't matter, it'll work, but it's just easier to start with more on um, paper in. If you've never used the border maker system, we've got little notches right along here. Um, our cartridges, there's lots of them. It's very addictive. You're going to hate me if I if you get this because it is like the best thing since sliced bread and you're going to want the cartridges every single month. Trust me on this. But um, actually, it's a very affordable tool. You get a cartridge win with the whole tool, which is just 35 bucks. And then they come out with these monthly. All right. So anyways, um, they've got little notches on them and the notches go into the notches that are underneath here. But you don't have to pay attention to those because there's a little notch here matches the little notch there. And that's what you line them up with. So I'm just going to quickly go down here to make my order. When I get to the end, don't stop just because we get less paper down here. Don't stop. Keep going. I shouldn't have pulled that out. That was foolish. All right, and then we're going to do this one. After you do that, there's a little um little piece that kind of will stick out there. You're going to want to grab your scissors and snip that little piece off. All right, then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This time, because I have now shortened my paper by cutting this off, I'm going to force this end all the way up into the corner so that my paper is filling the tray properly. And I am, hmm, it doesn't matter. You can start at either end. I probably now I'm going to start in the middle because this end is kind of irregular. This end is kind of irregular. Did you know you can start anywhere? Start anywhere you want to and just ma match this notch up to that notch. All right, and I'll go here. Make sure the papers are stuck together and finish it up. All right, down here, we have a little irregular piece. We want to snip that off. Right here, we have an irregular piece. We want to snip that off. All right, 
Now, if you're going to do a double page spread, you're going to want to do this twice. What I want you to notice is we have all kinds of cute little hearts here that you can sprinkle around the page when you're finished. If you don't have one of our lifter sticks, I recommend that for these. Um, it just it will grab them very easily. And then you just put a little dot using our precision pen. She looks like this. This is a really inexpensive adhesive. You just put little dots. Don't forget to squeeze the middle, get your little dot out. And then you just literally just put it down like that. All right. So these are genius and they're great. Pick them up because it's called a lifter stick. They're eight bucks. All right. So save your little hearts until you're done uh, to make sure, you know, whether they're trash or not. All right. Um, so again, double page spread, you're going to do this twice. I haven't tried um, tried to do two at one time. I suspect it would work with designer print, but I haven't tried. So I'm not going to promise that. All right. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to, that's pretty just the way it is, isn't it? All right, but we're going to do something a little bit step up from that. So now you want to grab your trimmer. And I used my scallop blade. Why? Because they called this a scallop heart. And I knew the scallop blade would be a great complement to this. So I am going to grab that. In fact, I think I'm going to, oh, I'm going to tell you something about this. I'm going to put this one back under so that when I can't find it, you all will yell at me. It's under your trimmer. Okay. Um, when you use this guy, grab a scrap real fast. Um, I have always coached people that when you cut with the scallop blade, the pretty scallop edge is going to show up on the piece that's sitting on, let's see. Let's see. If I put, put the scallop blade in, assuming your trimmer is, is your, your right-handed, your trimmer is right side, with the with um with the thing here, you know my lefties sometimes do it upside down, but if it's right side up, I like to put my scallop blade so that where it says scallop is facing my Creative Memories logo, and when I do that, I know that the piece of paper that is left on my trimmer top is the piece with the pretty scallop, okay, and then the piece that falls off is the reverse, all right? That's important if you're looking for a certain look, all right? Today, when I get ready to cut this, I want the pretty scallop to be on the piece that falls off. So when you do this skill, if you have learned that little trick from me, you do not want your scallop to face the logo. You want the scallop to face away, all right? Okay, then what I want you to do is take your piece of paper. I'm going to put the dark, dark side up so you can see a little bit better. I want you to line it up to the three-quarter inch, okay? The inch mark is the nice dark line that's here. I want you to back up just one, and you're going to line up all these little humpy humps to that one little three-quarter inch mark. Make sure you don't not only check it up here, but you check it down there. Since I lined it up at three-quarter, I want to stop at three quarter from here to here and stop at three quarter from here to here. Um, your three quarter mark, you can see on your ruler here, but it's basically lined up with those little hairs right here. There's these little, little millimeter marks that look like little centipede legs. <laughs> if you put your, um, put the white mark on your trimmer, there's that little white mark there and I just moved it. If you line that up with the base of those little a millimeter hair ball hairs, then that'll be about right, okay? And then down here, if you'll stop at 10 and a half, because right now it's 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 located um, at about 11 and a quarter. So if you stop at about 10 and a half, it's going to be beautiful. All right, and that one's easy because we have a nice prominent line right here to line that up with. All right, and um, and then we're going to rotate. If you're good at this skill, you could definitely do two sheet, two of these sheets at a time for a double page spread. Um, it'll definitely work. All right, so I'm going to go down here. I've already got a cut line. For, I'm just lining up to the cut line now, um, and then I'm going to go up here just under the little hairs of those little millimeter marks. 
Keep going all the way around. Cut mark. There's a line on this side as well. That's what I'm lining up with. Going up just underneath those little hairs. And one more rotation. And this one is really easy because I have cut marks now at the top and at the bottom. So I'm lining up here and I'm lining up there. All right, so when you're done, if it doesn't fall away, just go ahead and give a little tug tug. Um, it will fall off because you have probably cut far enough to make that beautiful. Somehow I didn't make that beautiful. Somehow I screwed that up. This one I cut too close. You all probably were noticing that I, I couldn't have been lining this up to the same as the rest. Luckily, I have done this already successfully. This is a good example of why you might not want to do two at a time, even if you're good at it, um, because that was definitely a goof. To fix this, what I would do is go in. It looks like I cut a quarter inch too, too, um, too close. So I would cut another quarter inch all the way around, which is going to be really iffy because I don't have a lot of wiggle room with that. But wow, that's super pretty, isn't it? Um, that was an accident, but it looks good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my completed one so that you can see how pretty this really is. And um, not fret about that. Oh, I did want to show you something, though. When you go to stick this down on something, it's fragile, guys. All right. I would, if you have one of these mats, I would pull one of these mats out. We don't sell these right now. Um, if you sign up to be an advisor, you do get one for free. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind if you're thinking about doing this as a business. But what I would recommend to stick this down to your piece of paper is repositionable tape. I know I talk about this all the time. Um, and this is just like there couldn't be a more perfect example of why we'd want to use this. All right. So let's assume that this is beautiful and not in bad, you know, not done incorrectly and you can literally can just go just like this and go right along the edges and you don't have to be careful because it's a really gentle dispense and it's it's not sticking to anything but the paper okay so you know you will have some that goes onto this mat um but anyways the other plus about this grab a piece of paper. The other plus about this is when I stick it down, let's say um, I did, did a typical Becky and put it um, irregular, um, it, you can lift it back up. And if you would use regular adhesive or, you know, if sometimes I know you guys are really creative and use crickets and stuff like that. Um, if you stick something down with a regular adhesive and decide to move it, you are beat. It's not coming up without tearing. So this is a great way um, to preserve your paper. And again, you can keep resituating. I have had people say, well, should I, you know, it's probably not going to last, is it? And that's not true. Our repo is designed to get stronger as time goes by. So once you put your page protector on, it's going to hold it in place. And then um, as time goes back by, it's going to adhere even stronger. So you don't need to ever worry about it falling off just because you're using repo. OK, so I wanted to point that out. All right. So let's go ahead now. Um, I wanted to make sure I talked about repo. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So this is um, the one that I actually did twice without making an error. I like to save all of my errors for you, for my live presentation, because it tends to make me human, right? But anyways, yeah, I did it twice, no problem. Um, here, here it is, is that super gorgeous? So this is using the something blue. This is a, a little polka dotted print. My lighting is terrible because you can't even see the polka dots. But anyways, it's pale blue with little white polka dots and they're pretty prominent. So I'm not sure why we can't see that today. Um, but let's go ahead and decorate this page. Um, I have cut up a few mats. Uh, when you, um, the hole that you cut out, if you want to, like this is the back of the light blue with white polka dots. If you want to, you actually could put that back into the hole. Um, to make make a kind of a different look. So that's definitely fine. Um, it does have um, a crease in it. If you're going to do that, when you go to stick the square back in, here's another handy tip. 
use your regular adhesive on that, not repo, but your regular and put regular in the crease and it's going to draw it down. All right. We typically put paper on top of it. So it's not that big a deal, but um, I like to eliminate it as much as possible. And you can do that very easily by making sure on the crease, you put your regular adhesive on that. All right. Um, so anyways, I wanted to let you know about that option. All right. So I wanted to show you a couple of cool things that I noticed. A couple of the mats. This one I liked. It's got a little heart on it. And then um, there's actually a number of them that are super cool. This one has a nice wreath on it. And I wanted to just make sure you're aware um, of one of the things that you can do with that. Um, the uh, In our patterns, I think last week I showed you some ideas with the big heart. But we also have a little heart. I wonder if I did that for myself as well. Yep, I sure do. That is here. And it is going to be perfect to cut that out. I think I want to do it this way. And if I do it this way with the red blade. Oh, I'm not digging my light. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, if I cut it like this, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab my red blade. And I'm using red because I want to save as much of this mat as possible to use it as a mat on my page. So I was just trying to give you an example of how you can get, um, the red blade is the one that cuts really close. All right. So now what I have is a beautiful embellishment for this page. Um, and uh, this one, I can just throw a photo on it if I have it cut down to the right size. So this is about four by six. So it'd have to be cut a little bit different. And you can see how I can plop that photo on and then the white will still pop off. So I literally could put this on the page vertically or horizontally and use ready for that photo to come. All right. So I wanted to point that out to you. All right. Um, another and this one, same thing. Um, if I grabbed um, that small circle. and use probably the green blade on this. I, it's going to be, or yeah, I would use the green. Then it's going to preserve this this uh, beautiful wreath here, but also I'll then have a mat that I can use on the page, right? So I wanted to make, just get you to think a little bit out of the box. Um, these I'm going to use just as they, as they are. Um, I don't need to put that there. I think I'm going to put them over here. I think I'm going to put this here. I like this as a little journal box. I'm going to show you that skill again. I'm going to cut out. I'm going to cut out just that thing by cutting a quarter inch off all the way around. I am not going to forget to take out that scallop blade. That would have been such a Becky thing to do. Um, probably would have worked all right but it does add a little bit of a complication for something so small. But I'm just gonna do a quarter inch this time. That's one line in only, and that should do it. My quarter inch mark is right here over the little hairy guys. I'm gonna go down to the six, cause this is a six and a half wide. That's above the little hairy guys. Yeah, you know, it's a four and a half. So I'm going to go to the four. I'm going to keep going. One more time. Okay. So now what I want, want to do, I'm going to use this piece. I'm going to cut off a little bit more, kind of miss some of the white there that I want eliminated. I'm going to cut a little bit more off. A little bit more off. <laughs> a little bit more off. It's moving, I think, is what's happening. Yeah, that's what's happening. I have to break out my scissors if this doesn't work. Oh, no, it went. Kind of went. Yeah. 
you know, I made kind of more of a mess. Would be Becky comedy hour if I didn't make mistakes, right? But this, that was easily fixable. And it doesn't matter all that much because we're going to put a photo on that. This is your bigger shaped one. And uh, I probably have a photo right now that I can grab. This is Christmas. This is not wedding, but just wanted to show you that it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because when you put the photo on there, it will be perfect. Okay. So I wanted to show you that. Um, I also wanted to remind you that even on these irregular shaped mats, I was going to use this as vertical. So I'm going to grab my perforating blade. I know I show this all the time to my clients, but I only show you all this every now and again. Um, this trimmer, you guys, if you don't have this trimmer, it is genius. I, I saw a conversation on some scrapbooking group the other day about what is the best trimmer? I find people's trimmers in my trash bags <laughs> at my crops. People are like, oh my gosh, I just bought this, but I need yours. <laughs> um, so I'm doing um I'm doing the line perforated, I'm scooting it to lines. And what's happening is I am creating visible lines for me to journal on. They're not prominent, so you barely see them when you're looking at the album, if that bothers you. But when you're writing, it, it provides a nice line for you, okay? So I've got journal box with that one. Probably we'll put this one over here like that. Um, these, I probably am going to put this side up and kind of put it over the edge a little bit there to give me more room and put this one kind of down there like that. Um, this, I am going to put here. And then I have space for another photo here. Maybe I'll center that there. All right. You probably could could scoot another photo in if you don't mind overlapping a little bit down here. Maybe I like to make more room by by putting things on a tilt, as that would give me more room to throw something here. Okay, if you want to. All right. Um, and then this heart. Um, let's let's uh let's throw some embellishments on there. Um, maybe because I've been dying to use them. Maybe. Do I want to put this big one there? Uh, yeah, I think I do. It's really pretty, isn't it? Super pretty. All right, so that that really is going to make this page look so um, so decorative. And then maybe uh, throw something also. I can see I'm going to need more of these. I love them. <laughs> there. What do you think? Hope you like it. That is all I got. Oops. It's my blurry. It's my blurry camera. So that's all I've got. We've got about 12 minutes to get to my hair appointment. So I need to get moving. But I thank you guys for watching. If you need an advisor, please shop with me or with any advisor. Um, if you don't have one, I'd love you to pick me, but pick an advisor. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, my website is www.creativememories.com forward slash user forward slash Becky, B-E-C-K-I-E, below